Cold as it gonna get though. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise God. Mighty King. I'm listening to and do not have copyright privileges to this song. It's called All in Your Hands by Marvin Sack. All in Your Hands by Marvin Sapp. You got a chance to see him this year. Oh man, is he talented. God bless him. He's a father and uh, he's a pastor. And that man is a preacher. And he's a singer, okay? He's been through something. And he's still praising God. Ain't there something? Anybody been through what he's been through? Something like that? Yes. These pastors who have had to sit by the bedside of loved ones as they left the earth. Pastors who have, especially specifically pastor, a pastor that I know very dear to me, who has had to sit by the bed of his mother as she um, went on in to be with the Lord, but as the body deteriorated and her spirit was called upon by God. Hey, if you've gone through something like that, do you know what? There's a shield around you. God encamps his angels about you. If you're going through something like that, right this very minute. Right this very minute. God bless you. And I want to pray for you. Come on, let's pray. I'm Mother Gail Trailer. It is December 20th, 2022. It's 6 12 a.m. And out for my walk. Yeah. And out for my walk over here. Told that heart, come on, baby. You slept. I slept for more than, I think I slept for more than uh, six hours last night. I slept. Just something came over me. I, I was tired. I slept. Kept looking like it wanted to snow or rain or do something. Come on, y'all, let's pray. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, it is in you and all about you. It is through you, hallelujah, that I am able to speak this morning. Lord, I'm asking you, Father God, to use me. Take me out of self. Forgive me, please, for all unrighteousness. Please, Lord, just manifest your glory. Bind principalities and powers and hindering spirits everywhere. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. We get busy and we forget that God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but love and a power and of a sound mind. Lord, we're looking around, we're listening. In the name of Jesus, the enemy is trying to deceive. He's trying his best to deceive us because we have something great coming. Hallelujah. There's deeper depths. There's higher heights. There's power. That's just up the road. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Thank you for it all because it all works together for the good. Every bit of it. Lord, when our hearts are filled with tears, when we've been hurt, 
when we have to separate from even sometimes our loved ones. Lord, when we're not sure, insecurities step, step in, lies are told. Sometimes, my God, my God, there's even, there could be friction. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, we're coming before you this morning, asking you, Father God, how they do you shake us, mold us, strengthen us, help us to remember what you did for us last, Ayatama, what you did for us last time. Through your word. Hallelujah. And I'm asking these and other blessings upon us in Jesus' name. Lord, bind fear. And I'm not telling you to bind it. No, I'm telling us. Because that's what you want us to do. Bind the spirit of fear. So I'm not going to make that request known to you that I want you to bind it. Lord, I'm going to bind it with my mouth. And so is Facebook today. We've got victory. We've had it in 2021, 22, 2019. We had it 2018, 27. We had it. But we didn't know how much we had. Thank you for these and other blessings in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. I ain't had no time this morning to go get dressed before you. I've got to go on in. But mother wanted to come before you just one more time. Just one more time. I mean, I get in the car. Sometimes, you know, you could, you feel that, that strength to, 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 nah, you do what you need to do. <laughs> you do what you need to do. You know what you do? You speak the word. Whether you're driving, if you're swimming, speak the word. You die, if you're dropping out of a plane, speak the word. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do. You in the bed. And you making love to your honey. I'm talking about your husband. Your husband's making love to your wives. Speak the word. And what would I say? If I was making love with my husband, I would say, well, even Jesus wept. <laughs> it's a bad joke, isn't it? Okay, Lord, forgive me. Uh, I'm just being real. Um, it's come out of the, the flesh. We thank God even for uh, marital relationships. And I suggest to you strongly that you don't leave that out of your marriage. Don't do that. Don't do that. Love one another as long as you possibly can for as old and as old as you possibly are. He gave us sex for something beautiful, not only to pre procreate, but he gave us sex to enjoy, to enjoy. It makes up for all the maladies, all the pains, when it's right. And, and sex or love comes along with forgiveness, forgiveness. Pray about everything, everything, everything. Pray about everything. And when I say pray about everything, I include sex. Pray about it. Bring it before him. What don't he know? What don't he know? Don't let the devil lie to you. You know when it's appropriate and you know when it's inappropriate. You know when it's wrong and you know when it's right. You ain't stupid, and neither am I. Well, saints, I just want to tell you this. I was having trouble, wondering why I can't, couldn't seem to uh, place my mind on the scriptures 
and really just, you know, learn them, rattle them off like so many. Honey, I also uh, noted the fact, you know, I'm, I'm getting older and, and sometimes I forget stuff. You know, I don't like forgetting things. I don't like forgetting things. And then lately, you'll have some people who are sent by the enemy who will accuse you of certain things. Okay? They'll accuse you of certain things. And you just, what? Not me? Uh, okay? Not me. I couldn't have done that. But uh, you know the devil is a liar. If he can't mess with you one way, he'll mess with you another. Okay? He'll mess with your mind. When you're sick, okay? When, when you, 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 especially when you're sick. And a lot of people's is getting sick. A lot of people's having surgeries. A lot of people's going through things. They scared. Devil will mess with your mind. And he'll tell you this is the way it is. This is the way it's got to be. Well, anyway, make a long story short, I, I asked my older sister, because I sent her something by mistake, and that, I don't, still don't think that was my error. Anyway, she wanted this wallet I had, so I mailed her one out. Somebody, I know it wasn't me, couldn't be me, but then again, it could have been. I, uh, I asked her, uh, I sent her for her birthday, and two of the same item came in the same color. The devil threw that on the checklist. Okay. She's sending out double orders, double gifts. And someone else told me uh, I was sending uh, uh, something inappropriate to their mother. And I thought, considered the sauce, and I said, well, wait a minute. That person is going through something. I know this, certainly. And uh, they're not feeling now. And uh, so what did I do? I kind of like didn't want to put that on the list of something that I was doing, but I think what could I have said because I say a lot and it might have been anyway I put that on the list and uh, when I went to I went to the coast and I began to praise God while I was in service I praised him and uh, I heard the minister say, while I was praising, you know, God will keep you in your right mind. In your right mind. I put a check there. Because I had some doubt. Why are you praising him so hard like that? I'm telling you to tell you this. Tell you this that all of that adds up in a person's mind, a person my age, if you live it, if you live it, you can say, well, maybe you're off the board. Maybe you're losing it, mother. Maybe Alzheimer's has set in. And, uh, you know, it's, it's bad enough you can, you sometimes forget how to get to this part of the mountain and that part of the mountain and, hey, child, please, Satan, you are lying. I found that out and I took some prevalent to gym because I, 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 I had a feeling, hey, with all them marks against me. I'm not be losing my mind. Then I walked up the street. I came back. I thought about it. Should I take the car? Should I not take the car? Because where I was going with the neighbors. 
But, uh, and then I lost the phone and all that added up. And then to boot, it's Christmas time. <laughs> Had a hole in the tire and the car needed an oil change. All of that on your mind, all of that. You have your life, I have my life. You worry about what concerns you. I worry about what concerns me. And I say I'm not worried and I'm leaving in God's hands. But all of those on a to-do list is, is everything, you know. Mm, mm. Why didn't you change the oil back then? Why did, what happened? So a lot was on my mind. I began to, uh, I got some privilege in by my sister. She sent it to me, my older sister. Give me anything you want. God bless her. She's a nurse, by the way. She was a teacher. That's a positive. I mean, she could believe it. I believe I can do it. She can do it. She believes she can do it. And she loves her job. She's only 71. She loves her job. Should have retired. Did retire from one job. Then became a nurse, nurse's aide, went on to be a LP, and then went on to be a RN, and loves it. She loves it. She don't want to stop working. They love her, and they need her so much. And she is so much in demand. And so given strength that they trust her. They trust her, and she's still learning. Still learning what to do with situations and people and families. A powerful woman, and I pray for her. We went to church on Sunday together. She's so stuck in that mode of nursing. But when she got to the church we went to, she clapped her hands. Ayatama! That happened in 2022. Chow, please. You know God been good to us. But I'm telling you this. Ain't no harm in fighting. I got a couple of battles on the on the uh, on the stove top right now. I got a sister underneath me, Satan. Thank you, gonna keep her and take her and keep her. He's a liar. I got two sisters, Satan. Think he gonna keep. Her. He's a liar. I love my kin, like you love your kin. If I can't love you and contact you every day because you busy, I'm busy, or because maybe. I think you killed my left nerve. I still love my kid. But there ain't no harm in fight. And the fighting I'm talking about, I'm not talking about word fighting. I'm not talking about this fight. I'm talking about using that whole arm of God, putting on that helmet of salvation, that breastplate, and putting it on right. Loins good about with the spirit of truth, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, born of the spirit in one hand, and shield of faith in the other. That's the kind of fighting I'm talking about. Spiritual warfare. The devil began to plague my mentality once I took that privilege in. And I started having these real fears. I mean, the fears I had before, they was nothing. Honey, after taking privilege and I don't know what source of, of demonic force it opened up my mind to, but I began to fear, honey. I began to fear. And it was a fight just to, it was a fight just, you know, and, and these fears start, I think they start, 
weeks, days, months, even years before we acknowledge them, before we realize that we're walking in fear. You know, we discover, oh, I've got fear in that ear. I'm fearful of this, I'm fearful of that. For instance, are you fearful of heights? Why? But it's something to overcome. I keep telling my daughter I want to uh, do some hang gliding next summer. And she says, no, 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 but I would like to. I believe that Laura Brandon will actually jump out of a plane. It's a fear in her life. Oh, no, it's not a fear. It's a fear to the family. Girl, go do it. She wants to do the full-fledged uh, jumping from a plane, kind of like holding on to the, the things and yeah, you know, hey. Hey, if you, you do it, do it, do it while you can. But while we can also, right down here on earth, let us remember that God ain't gave us, he has not given us the spirit of fear but a power and of love and of a sound mind. Along with fear comes insanity, insecurity, self. How would you say I'm, I'm not good enough? You know, you're fearful. You know what comes with fear. A lot of crazy anxiety. Schizophrenia. Paranoia. All them spirits is out there, you know. It's waiting for somebody with a weak mind. That's all. All you need is a weak mind. And your mind is weak without Christ. Okay? If you don't know the word of God, and you are not remembering, putting in your remembrance, or into your brain, the word of God, you become weak and submit to the spirit of fear. Marvin Sapp is singing about it. He's talking about putting it all in God's hands, every bit of it. Not being anxious for anything. Uh, I saw that, a little bit of that, which I didn't want to see, that report given to the committee that feels that Trump should uh, be tried. I never saw such a, 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 were they good? I thought they were actors and actresses. I thought they were very, very profound in the way they spoke accusing him of this and that, accusing him of things they felt that he did wrong and could have uh, prevented and things that uh, he may have suggested. I can suggest to you, this is how, how gullible the, the public is, gullible. I, I can suggest to you to, to swallow this. Okay? And, and there's some people that would swallow it. Just because I tell you if you swallow it, the Lord will be well pleased. All it takes is one one person who's not thinking with their right mind. Swallow this. I suggest to you that you don't swallow it because you will end up spending your entire day, if you make it, to the phone and call 911. I'm just telling you, that, man, I'm just telling you people are gullible. But I tell you this too. They try Trump. 
but uh, we'll see whether he's a man of God or not. We'll see whether he's supposed to be where he's supposed to be. We'll see. Can you make it through that trunk? We kept talking about the swamp, the swamp, the swamp, boo. I'm sorry, babes. Now you learn how to swim through it. Okay? Yeah, that's going to take some tenacity. No, it's going to take some faith in God. And some prayer, babes. God know how to break us. That man, he got to stand. And having done all to stand, baby, you held up that Bible. You held up that Bible in front of that, that White House. You were telling people what you were standing on. And now we watch it. We love you. We going to watch it. Are you going to stand? Or are you going to break? We kept preaching about the swamp. Now swim through it. That's what the rest of us is doing. You a Christian? You held up the Bible like you was. Okay, you hold this up. You you hold this up. You start preaching the word of God and see, ain't you tried for your faith? Swim through the swamp. And the only way you're going to swim through the swamp is with Jesus. If it wasn't real before, baby, the world going to see. Mm-hmm. Because you know we gullible. You tell us to swallow this, and we'll swallow it. Some of us. I want to tell you this. Ain't no harm in fighting. You got to fight the current daily. And there's a current that comes by. The waves get real, real, real choppy. The sea begins to get real evil. Okay? Come on. God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of love and of power and of a sound mind. But of power, then love and of a sound mind. You got to have power. And power you got to have because you got to swim. You got to hold on to the bits and pieces of the ship. You're going to make it in. Hayatia, Mosa. We are swimming. We're swimming. We're coming through the swamp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's not what we called it. That was Trump called. That that was in his area of the world. And boy, oh boy. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want my spiritual muscle, you know, work that hard. I guess because I'm not called to be president. That got that takes some spiritual muscle. Keep from losing your mind. Somebody gonna tell you what you did and what you meant by what you said and what you lie on you. Throw some lies in there. Uh-huh. Why? Because they miserable. And misery like company. Uh-huh. But the Grinch had to give Christmas back, didn't he? I God hasn't given us the spirit of fear. He gave us power. Uh, he gave us love. And he gave us a sound mind. That's why God loved you so much. I mean, that's why you was chosen. Because although your world was rocked at many instances, guess what? When you was in some dire need of help because you was out there by yourself and the waves roared and tried to dash against your ship and you didn't go under you know why that was why you didn't lose your mind because you got one of them minds that God made and he liked that kind of mind there's some minds that you know some minds you if they can't find their glasses, they go completely crazy. If they can't find their teeth or, or whatever. There are people, they lose their husbands, go completely mad. 
you lose a child. Ayatia Mosa. Child get hurt in an accident. You lose their mind. You lose their complete mind. Some people lose a job or lose their health. They go crazy. You know how you go crazy? Start blaming other people, fussing and fighting. Misery like company. But you go into that misery mode when you don't trust God. When you don't realize God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of sound mind. Sound mind said God going to take care of you. Sound mind said, open up this word. Sound mind say pray about everything. Pray without ceasing. Sound mind said, get to church. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Sound mind say, what do you say? Uh, uh, assemble yourselves. As you see the day approaching, that's a sound mind. Oh, child, we got some blessings coming. But I told you earlier this year, you're going to have to put on the big girl panties. Men, you're going to have to put, put on them boxer shorts. Mm -hmm. Big girl panties, baby. You can't be no wimp. Mm -hmm. Not and walk through 2023. And whatever, what you went through in 2020, 2019, 2020, 2021, yeah, he gave you strength and power. But every now and then there's, there's a, you know, there's a challenge and you got to come up to that challenge and trust in him. I'm sorry to be so winded. I couldn't help it. I had to share. I love Marvin Sapp. Never met him. I know he does a um, a uh, conference or speaking on YouTube with someone, and uh, I heard a lot of it. Very intelligent man, very learned. Um, he's doing what he said. Told God, you know, Lord said, "What you are." This little quote says, what you are is God's gift to you. But what you make of yourself is your gift to God. Marvin Sapp has, is making a gift and giving it back to God. Gives God all the glory in his life. You don't hear, uh, you know, crap about him with, oh, he done did this and did that and blah, blah. God bless all of them, all the singing uh, people we love, singing praises right now. But uh, hmm. the Lord sang over you when you was born. I mean, before you were born, he sang over us. Hallelujah. May God bless you and keep you. I love you. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. It's him, baby. And if you don't pray, you ain't got nothing. But if you pray, you got something. You got power. And God gave it to you. Don't be, be filled with something that God ain't gave you. Okay? Full of anger. Full of hatred. Full of unforgiveness. Full of bitterness. Don't be full of that. Okay? Show is too heavy to carry right now. Ugh. I like being able to move. Yeah. It just makes you strong. May God bless you and keep you. My name is Mother Gail Trella. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Merry Christmas. I'm just passing through. <laughs>